The Nintendo Switch is one of the most generous consoles in terms of visual novels, and if you don't own a PC, there are impossible titles you should be aware of if you own a Switch. Here are 12 must-play visual novels on Switch. Let's kick off with AI the Somnium Files. AI the Somnium Files, developed by Spike Chunsoft, that combines a murder mystery with a body cop dynamic. Directed by Kotao Uchikoshi, known for his work on Zero Escape, Detective Kaname, accompanied by an AI partner named Aiba, investigates a complex murder case using futuristic sync technology. The game offers engaging dialogue driven gameplay, allowing players to control Kaname's actions and explore dreamscapes during sync sequences. The story unfolds through through various paths featuring well-written characters and imaginative scenarios, the game delivers a thrilling and memorable experience with intriguing twists and psychological horror elements. The Switch port maintains a flawless performance and impressive visuals. Next up, VA11 Hall A, a visual novel developed by Venezuelan studio Sukeban Games, takes you behind the bar into the cyberpunk world of Glitch City. Meet Jill, the bartender at Vahala, a small dive bar in the heart of the cyberpunk dystopia. In a city filled with crime and authoritarian rule, Valhalla serves as an oasis, offering a glimpse into the lives of characters who'd be NPCs in a typical cyberpunk adventure. Your choices aren't dialogue prompts, but the drinks you serve. A wrong drink might alter the conversation or trigger events in this story. Making drinks is a blend of navigating menus and controlling the mixing station. It might feel clunky at first, but it adds to the charm once you get the hang of it. The A11 Hall A features a fantastic soundtrack inspired by Vaporwave, allowing you to curate your own playlist for the night. Now on Switch, the port is marvelous, with controls that surprisingly fit the handheld console. A perfect game for relaxing wind-down sessions. Moving on to Ace Attorney, the Ace Attorney series, developed by Capcom, praised for its engaging courtroom drama, well-crafted narratives, and entertaining gameplay. The balance of anime, theatrics, crime details, and moments of levity is emphasized along with the significance of cross-examinations and evidence presentations during courtroom sessions. The series features witch dialogue, complex mysteries, and an overarching narrative with recurring characters and conspiracies. Two collections have been made available for the Switch. The Phoenix Ace Attorney Trilogy, which includes the first to fourth game of the series, and the Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Trilogy, which contains the fourth to sixth game. The Ace Attorney games follow defense attorney Phoenix Wright as he solves murder cases in the Japanese legal system. Players gather evidence, interview witnesses, and defend their clients in court. Apollo Justice shifts the focus to a new protagonist, Apollo, who also works as a defense attorney. The game introduces fresh characters and a new legal setting. The narrative explores Apollo's backstory and connections to Phoenix Wright. The Nintendo Switch version's portability boasts improvements in graphics and HD rumble, maintaining the charm of 2D animations. New additions like Auto Advance and the History button, along with DLC trials and outfits, add value to the collection. The trilogy's exploration of the legal system engages courtroom battles and an introduction of new characters are commanded. The transition from 2D sprites to 3D character models isn't disturbing. Spirit of Justice is favored for its new setting and tackling darker themes. Both newcomers and returning players can enjoy the trilogy, offering a compelling experience with minimal changes. Now, let's talk about the house in Fata Morgana. The house in Fata Morgana is acclaimed for its narrative depth. The story begins with the protagonist waking up in a mansion with no memories, and a mysterious maid guides them through different time periods, revealing tragic tales of the mansion's previous inhabitants. Despite its slow start and potentially upsetting dark themes, this visual novel demands time and patience, offering a rewarding experience for those invested in its 40 plus hours of reading. The game's well written and well translated script, novel narrative techniques, and exploration of changing themes. Like abuse contribute to its unique charm. It has an emotional impact, intricate storyline, and artistic elements that make it a must-play for those interested in adventure games. The Switch version, with additional content and portability, solidifies its position as a valuable addition to a visual novel genre. Now we have Danganronpa Decadence. Spike Chunsoft celebrates the series' 10th anniversary by combining four games into one Switch package. The original game, Trigger Happy Havoc, stands out with its depraved murder mystery premise and iconic characters. The sequel, Goodbye Despair, takes the intensity up a notch on a tropical island, although it may feel familiar compared to the first. 
Dangarapa V3 Killing Harmony is hailed as the series' crowning achievement, offering the best characters, twist and variety. Each game in the collection follows a similar plot structure, where a group of students is trapped in a closed environment and forced to participate in a deadly game. The overarching narrative involves solving mysteries, engaging in class trials, and uncovering the identity of the mastermind orchestrating the events. Themes of trust, betrayal, and the consequences of one's actions are prevalent throughout the series. The package also also includes Dangarampa S, Ultimate Summer Camp, which, while enjoyable for series fans, introduces disappointing microtransactions. Despite this, the overall collection is a treat for Dangarampa enthusiasts. Next, we have Stainsgate Elite. Stainsgate Elite, developed by 5PB and published by Spock Chunsoft, is a legendary iteration that serves as a rejuvenated version of its predecessor, Stainsgate. Animated by the reputable White Fox Studio, it transforms the original static screens into a fully animated visual novel, expertly blending game footage with new scenes. The narrative, characterized by its dark and captivating tone, unfolds seamlessly with a cast featuring both English dub and original Japanese voice performance. Assuming the role of Rintao Okabe, the self-proclaimed mad scientist, players embark on a fantastical journey triggered by the accidental invention of a time travel microwave. The narrative direction is influenced by choices made on all kinds of fun, offering multiple endings and a substantial gameplay duration of around 30 hours. The bundle includes a Stainsgate linear bonded phonogram, supplementing the experience with 10 additional stories that delve into character backgrounds, whether experience on the portable switch or the large your screen, it seamlessly blends anime aesthetics with interactive storytelling. Now we have a Raging Loop. Raging Loop crafted by Kemco, ingeniously blends the werewolf game's essence with captivating twists, creating a standout adventure in the visual novel genre. The narrative begins with Haruaki Fusaishi, a 24-year-old navigating a breakup, stumbling into a mysterious village after a motorcycle mishap. The village's cursed history unfolds, revealing a werewolf phenomenon triggered by past grievances. The dense lore in the initial hours sets the stage for a gripping and horrific adventure. The game introduces a unique unique time loop mechanic where the protagonist Haruaki retains memories after each death, unraveling the truth progressively. The village's diverse and well-written characters, free from typical visual novel cliches, enhance the unsettling atmosphere. Notably, the game's New Game Plus mode, Relevation mode, unlocks after completing the true ending. This feature allows players to delve deeper into character perspectives, adding a layer of intrigue and tension to scenes. Raging Loop stands out as a horror thriller that avoids typical anime tropes. Its unique gameplay mechanics, fantastic storytelling, and compelling characters make it a must-play for fans of the visual novel genre. Raging Loop's hidden gem status adds to its allure, beckoning players into a captivating and suspenseful adventure. Next up is Famicom Detective Club. The Famicom Detective Club series consists of two games, The Missing Hair, that was released in 1988, and its sequel, The Girl Who Stands Behind, released in 1989. Originally released in Japan, these classics have been remade for the Nintendo Switch. In the Missing her, players embody a 17-year-old detective investigating a wealthy family's suspicious death, uncovering supernatural elements and familial drama. While the reveal flew under the radar for many, these titles, predating Esotony, set the stage for many tropes in the genre. The narrative, rich in familial drama and the supernatural, unfolds as you navigate the story. The visual novel upgrades are insane, with animations giving life to characters and adding depth to the spooky scenes. It boasts quality of life improvements, text log, a comprehensive notebook, and soundtrack options enhance the overall experience. In this murder mystery, you'll find yourself both cursing at the game's puzzles and captivating by the unfolding mysteries and characters. Now, let's discuss Witch on the Holy Knight. Witch on the Holy Knight, a Type Moon visual novel released in 2012, is a prequel to Tsukihime. It introduces a compelling narrative set in an alternate Japan where magic is kept secret. The story revolves around three high schoolers, powerful mage Aoko Aozaki, mysterious witch Alice Kuonji, and transfer student Sojiro Shizuki. Despite its ties to the broader Type Moon universe, the game focuses on the humorous and charming interactions between Aoko and Shizuki. What makes Witch on the Holy Knight unique is its exceptional presentation featuring a cinematic experience with numerous backgrounds and conceptually placed portraits. With not discernible gameplay beyond changing text displays, this visual novel is a commitment, offering a well-written story, intriguing characters and impressive visuals. Moving on to Aokana Forism Across the Blue. 
Developed by Sprite and published by Nekonian, successfully blends the sports and romance genres in a visually stunning and well-presented package set in a futuristic Japan where gravity-defying sports called the Flying Circus are popular. The game follows Hinata Masaya, a prodigy traumatized by a past loss. The narrative unfolds as he becomes the coach of the Flying Circus Club, guiding its members through challenges and personal growth. The game features a slice-of-life moments and compelling character dynamics. The character development is a standout feature with each member of the club having depth and a unique reason for participating. The sports aspect, involving tactics and discussions about the soul of the sport, adds a depth to the narrative. The switch port offers portability but sacrifices higher resolution and adult content. Aokana for Rhythm Across the Blue stands out as an enjoyable visual novel, can be recommended for both newcomers and visual novel enthusiasts. And the last game on this list is Clanad. Clanad, a renowned key visual novel, officially released in English after over 10 years, presents a compelling and emotional narrative as a love story centered on Tobuya Okazaki, a high schooler with a nihilistic perspective. The game explores deep, serious, and heartbreaking themes. The protagonist encounters with Nagesa Furukawa and their gradual connection from the core of the plot, with multiple choices leading to diverse character routes and endings. The game's strength lies in its excellent writing, offering a mix of humor, romance, and drama. The characters, initially appearing top field, evolve into well-developed individuals with nuanced backgrounds. The extensive length of Clanad, ranging from 40 to 80 hours per playthrough, may be daunting, but it contributes to immersive storytelling. The voice acting, excluding the protagonist, is well done, enhancing the overall experience. The emotional depth, rich storytelling, and extensive content make Clanad a must-play for the novel enthusiasts, even with its imperfections. Thank you for watching, there's no doubt that there are missing titles on this list, so if your favorite one isn't here, please drop a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and check out my video about the best upcoming visual novels of 2024. See you next time.